Are you guys ready? He's straight ahead in the view of that tree. Oh my gosh! What is life? Today we are in Melbourne and today we are going to be driving the Great Ocean Road. We are so excited. We're going to see sea stacks, hopefully koala bears. It's going to be amazing. This is a day we've looked forward to for a long time ever since booking our trip to Australia. We're really excited. First we got to get out of Melbourne and get on the road. Driving along the road and then we hit a spot where you can go really slow and I got out and I was like what is this noise and this tree is full of bats like what is going on they are gigantic look at them they were gonna be like they kind of look like little dogs but this still it's just so weird because they like sleep upside down and so it's just weird to see all these bats hanging out down, like upside down in a tree in the middle of the day like why are they awake they're supposed to be sleeping We finally made it. It was a bit of a drive from Melbourne, but we are now at the edge of the Great Ocean Road and we're gonna go back to Apollo Bay. We're at our first stop. What is this called? Bay of Islands. Oh. at here <laughs> okay so what you're seeing here are sea stacks made of limestone that were once at the bottom of the ocean and over like thousands of years you know like dead animals and plant matter and seaweed they like made these formations that you see here but then after the last ice age a lot of it like broke out I guess when like the waters rose and soft spots in the limestone started to like chip away and like break apart and so what you see here standing are just like the remains of more structurally sound pieces of rock and right now i mean it's still being eroded away even this entire coastline but only by two centimeters a year
solid like idea of what this was going to be. So how it goes is you drive along the highway and then you get out and walk to this like spectacular view. And we thought that like, okay, so a few of them will probably be absolutely amazing, but literally all of them are absolutely spectacular and gorgeous views with sheer cliff faces and like the most blue water you've ever seen. It is absolutely gorgeous. And just like the shrubbery around it, I don't know, the landscape itself is absolutely wonderful. This is a lot prettier than I thought it was going to be. on our way to Apollo Bay to see the 12 Apostles. Now we have made it to the 12 Apostles. It is beautiful here. I just want to go on the beach because no one can make it down there because the cliffs are too high. What about you? I, well, yeah, that. I think it'd be worse if the people could go down to the beach. You know what I mean? It's so pretty with having like no humans down there and just having these like probably seven sea stacks <laughs> just like glistening in the sun. It's absolutely beautiful. And that's it for the Great Ocean Road. Now we're going to try and find some koala bears. Yay! And I don't know if we're going to be able to make it, but we're trying to hit it at sunset because that's when they're supposed to be out. Oh my gosh. I think we're seeing kangaroos for the first time. Okay, so we are in Cape Otaway. Oh, sorry. Okay, where are we? Cape Otway. Otway. Okay, so we made it to Cape Otway. Now we don't want to scare the kangaroos. But, oh my gosh, there. Okay, here we go. There he is. Towards us. So we've been driving around Australia for like three days now, and kangaroos are not like super prevalent where we've been driving. So this is like so awesome. It's really hard to see them. They're so tiny, but like we saw one hop, and it's just like, what? Like kangaroos are like deer to Australia. You know what I mean? They're just like there and nobody really cares, but we're like freaking out. <laughs> they're scared this kangaroo is gonna come attack them, so they're running away. Keep going, keep um, going. I don't really oh want to. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> Start over. Okay, stop. Stop. Oh. Just... He's like a person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. There's a car. I don't like the wrist one. <laughs> Massive. Oh my gosh, guys. Our Australian trip is complete. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? He's straight ahead in the view of that tree. Oh my gosh. What is life? I was looking at trees and I was like, there's gotta be exactly. one that's like, not yep, eating wait, me. Nope, nope, oh. reverse, reverse, turn around. Okay. Oh, our little guy's crying, it's okay. <laughs> oh, we've seen everything we wanted to see in Australia. Just majestic. Oh my God. <laughs> 
He is a pup. <laughs> He's looking at you. He's like, why are you crying? It's okay. I just can't believe we found one. We were like going down this road, I think with like the intention that there was going to like- To be a trail. We were yeah. gonna pull off and hike down a trail and hopefully find a small tree that we, might have some, but we had no idea. We couldn't find this trail. We are like, all right, we'll just like drive around and like hope to God that we'll find Fingers one. Crossed. And we just were going really slow after seeing amazing kangaroos, like ripped, shredded kangaroos <laughs> that were so scary. And all of a sudden we just see this little guy hanging out in the tree. His and then Caroline started crying. <laughs> Bawling. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is amazing. This uh, is I like mean, a tender moment for all of us. It is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, cause we knew we were coming to Australia and it was like, okay, we're gonna dive. We're gonna see some kangaroos probably, but yeah. like, we're not gonna see any koalas. And then I found, found out him. that there were koalas at this park, and I was like, maybe we'll see some if we go at sunset, but who knows? Yeah. And to find them is we just did it. so succeeded. rewarding. I'm so glad we came. Me too. <laughs> so we're here in Port Campbell, and we stopped here on, wait, what? Driving around Australia for like four days now. Just kidding, more like three days. Two days, three days.